What is bread staling? Bread staling is simply an aging process in which textural characteristics of bread and cakes are negatively affected. The following phenomena are always present during bread staling. Bread crumb firmness significantly increases. Loss of fresh crumb springiness or elasticity over time. Increased crumbliness. Crispness of the bread crust decreases. Bread loaf loses its fragrance, assuming a stale flavor. Bread can be seen as an unstable material once it has been baked. This is due to the chemical composition of the flour used, interactions between ingredients, such as starch, lipids, and gluten proteins, and processing conditions. What causes staling? While many theories abound, the mechanics behind bread staling are mainly linked to the reorganization of starch fractions. Particularly, those of highly branched amylopectin molecules. This is due to retrogradation from the swollen, amorphous, gelatinized state into their native, rigid, crystalline state. Water migration from product after cooling and bagging that affects the rate at which staling occurs. Further moisture loss in the bagged bread during storage and transport also allows staling to proceed faster. The bread making process, packaging technology and storage conditions can significantly affect staling and how fast it occurs. This includes formulation, use of fat, sugar, enzymes, emulsifiers, and hydrocolloids. Dough system used in the production process. Specific volume of the finished product. Packaging or bagging technology, for example, fully sealed package or twist tie closure. Type of packaging film used. Thermal treatments of the dough, that is baking and freezing operations. Water evaporation during baking, for example bake loss. Temperature and relative humidity during storage and transport. How to troubleshoot staling in bread making. Staling is an inevitable phenomena. Bakers can only delay its onset, using available tools to extend shelf life of bread as long as possible. There are two basic strategies that can extend bread's freshness as well as enhance its appearance, these are formulations and processing methods. What are common formulation approaches? Sugar and fat addition. In situ generation of non-polar surfactants by use of lipases. Use of specialty amylases such as maltogenic alpha amylase of intermediate thermostability. Inclusions of water-holding ingredients, such as gums. Production of aerated bread with high specific volume. Emulsifiers. What are common processing approaches? Water is a universal plasticizer, so avoid excessive bake loss that reduces the water levels in bread. Balance mold-free shelf life and texture shelf life, Higher moisture in the finished product will delay staling but will likely favor mold growth. Use of specialized packaging technology, different from the regular twist-tie closure bagging tech seen in high-speed bakeries, will definitely be an edge, limiting moisture loss to its minimum and keep the crumb softer. Storage conditions, storage temperature is also important as bread stales faster at low temperatures, particularly at a range of 32 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 0 to 10 degrees Celsius. Freezing bread, freezing temperatures colder than 5 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 15 degrees Celsius, reduce the rate of chemical reactions and physical transitions to practically zero values. How to measure staling. Staling can be measured through rheological methods, thermal analysis, infrared spectroscopy, x-ray crystallography, microscopy, sensory or organoleptic tests. A more effective approach to reduce crumb firming and to maintain crumb elasticity over time is the use of amylases. To learn more about these softening enzymes, download the staling in baked goods baker paper on the Baker Academy via the link in the description below. Learn more about all things baking by signing up for our newsletter. Until next time, bakers. At Bakerpedia, we're here on a need-to-know basis.